Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Now I, I know you see the title and um, if, if I'm gonna be honest, there is no excuse for why I am already doing a fall related video other than I am over summer and I'm really excited for fall, especially fall fashion. I feel the past couple of months, I have thrifted so many amazing pieces that are so perfect for fall time and it's gonna be 110 next week and I, I'm just over it. I'm over summer, summer is canceled. And so yeah, today I am doing a fall 2023 fashion trends I'm excited to wear and that I am loving. Some of these are just personal to me and kind of, I guess, what's like trending in my world. Other ones I like and I had seen on different, you know, fashion magazine websites that said these are the fall trends, blah, blah, blah. And we're just gonna get inspired. We got a couple of months, at least for myself, until I'll be able to fully appreciate fall fashion, but I, I feel I can still incorporate some of these pieces even when it's a little bit hot as it transitions into fall time. And I am just really excited to talk about fall fashion, okay? Okay. <laughs> With this first one, technically it is trendy right now and is maybe more of a summer trend, but I think it's gonna take me possibly a couple of weeks to actually find this. So I probably won't wear it until it's a little bit closer to fall time. And also I feel it can be worn all year round depending on where you live, at least with me. I, we don't get snow, so I could wear these during the winter time. And that is strappy ballet style sneakers slash these, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but just ugly sneakers. And here's the thing. I have never really been a sneakers person. I have said in videos that I find sneaker styles pretty boring. And that's mainly because I've only really liked kind of the chunky white solid color dad sneaker. And I really only got excited for like boot styles, Doc Martens, cowboy boots, and that kind of thing. And I think it's just because I had never really seen these shoes either styled in the way that they have been styled or just even the specific strappy sneakers. I had never seen those before. And it, it has got me, it 100% has got me. And I totally understand people absolutely hating them, but there was just something that unlocked inside of me where I was like, oh my gosh, these are my sneakers. Personally, I was really not into the Adidas Sambas. Like I think they're totally cute, but I've never had an urge to get them. This is 100% on my thrift wish list and from what I see is able to get second hand, which I think is awesome for trends because they always come back. And again, when it comes to, I guess like sustainability and trends, that's a whole other conversation. But if you can find it second hand, I just think that's a really great option. And I think this is one trend that you can get second hand. Fall fashion has always had, it's like staples when it comes to like browns, maroons, the pattern plaid, and also blazers. I feel like blazers are just so, at least for me, fall time. And I saw on multiple, multiple fashion websites that big like shoulder pad 80s loose blazers are going to be trendy for fall time. And I've really grown to love blazers the past couple of years. To me, I, I feel blazers don't necessarily go out of styles, but I understand that maybe the silhouettes or styles of blazer trends can kind of go in and out. I have a lot of leather blazers that I really love. I have this one plaid blazer that I'm so excited to wear again this year that I think I've had for like two years. And going through a lot of these trends, I do personally own them and I'm just like excited to bring them out again and to put together outfits with them again to style them with other things that I have thrifted in the past year. And I just love blazers and I'm really excited to wear them. Another style of shoe that I'm actually really surprised how much I like this. I don't know if I'll ever own it, but I really appreciate it. And I think if I did find it secondhand, I would maybe try it out. And that is silver metallic shoes. If you have been subscribed to me for the past couple of years, I've talked about in 
previous trend related videos that I just do not like silver metallic. And I will say, I think silver metallic clothing, like pants or a dress or a top is something that I don't personally love, but silver metallic shoes, specifically like a Mary Jane style or like a ballet flat, I, I feel like there's something there. I think it is actually really cute and could just add a different texture and look to even a very simple outfit. Another one that I have talked about not liking, yet I am going to say I maybe have changed my mind and that is off the shoulder tops. Now, I feel like the off the shoulder tops that were more in the 2010s and were like the cold shoulder and these. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about like plain, solid, specifically black. It just seems so simple and easy to wear and something that could be a great basic, but it's something other than, oh, just a black t-shirt or a black tank top. It's a different silhouette that I think could be a great item to own in my closet. Although I've obviously talked about how annoying off the shoulder tops are and that like you lift your arm, they move. And so I think that's why I'm really only just looking for one and just a black one and that is it. I promise I won't talk a lot about this one because I feel like I've been talking about the color red as a trend for the past couple of like trend related videos, but like it's, it's still in there for me. Red nails are just, I don't know. I never paint my nails, but ever since I painted them red, I now am like painting them red all the time. Like I want this to be my everyday nail color, even socks or red tights. Yeah, that's right. I found red tights finally. I think I talked about wanting red tights last fall and it had, or maybe it's only been six months. I'm not sure, but it's taking me that long to finally get some red tights. And that's what I'm talking about. I have all these pieces that I had maybe wanted last year and I waited or it took me a little bit longer to get them. And now I can finally wear them. Obviously bows have been very trendy at the past couple of years. And I personally am still loving them. I think they are just such a nice little accessory on everything and anything and something that i think we are going to see more of is accessorizing bags with bows i feel like people have been accessorizing their bags obviously like that's not that's not a new thing but i think having bows on them is definitely going to be way more popular of course the bagu and sandy lan collaboration is coming out i cannot deny I just absolutely love the collection. I already have a Bagu Crescent bag and I love it so much. So I don't think I will be getting anything from that, but I have seen so many people DIYing their own bows on their Bagu bag because they're like, well, I already have a Bagu bag. Why would I buy a new one when I can just like sew or tie a bow on it? And I think I'm gonna do that with mine because it's just like, why not? I didn't see this trend on any like fashion magazine websites. But this is something that is trending in my life and I'm pretty shocked, which are, I guess, kind of like loose wide leg jeans, specifically high rise though. We are, no, no, mid rise, low rise. No, get out of here. It's, it's got, it's, it's gotta be high rise. And I have been a mom jean person. And then I really, really love straight leg jeans, but I had thrifted some wide leg jeans. I don't remember the Brand. They definitely aren't a rigid denim, which I would prefer, but the fit is amazing and they are so comfy. And I don't know if I will get any other jeans in this type of style, but I just appreciate the style of jean. Also, I had gone to the Ghani store with Carrie last week. I had never been to a Ghani store. I've I think I ranked Ghani and I don't remember where I like put it on the ranking system, but it was the very first time I ever stepped into a Ghani store. I tried on Ghani clothing for the very first time. I didn't get anything, but they had this pair of jeans that like I have not tried on like a new pair of jeans that I've been like, oh my God, this rivals my like 
jeans that I already own and like my vintage thrifted jeans. They were like $235. They were some of the most beautiful feeling denim I just have ever felt. They were these high rise loose jeans that fit me so well. Like if I can find them on Depop, I probably will buy them. If you've been following me for a while, you know, I mean, gosh, if you've watched, honestly, I feel like I maybe mention this in every video. I love fruit patterned clothing. It's just like this thing that makes me so happy. I love fruit patterned anything, fruit patterned home decor. I, my duvet cover is fruit pattern. I have a swimsuit that's fruit pattern and just, yeah, fruit pattern clothing is my weakness. And apparently it is a fall 2023 fashion trend, which I kind of love because obviously plaid and like darker colors are usually quite trendy during fall time. I'm just excited not only for myself to enjoy fruit pattern clothing, but also for other people and to get inspired how other people style it as well. I'm just really interested, especially again in fall time, styling fruit pattern. Like, I mean, you can put fruit pattern with anything in my opinion. As we know, trends always come back and I have been seeing like for the past couple of years, honestly, like articles being like 2014 fashion trends or like 2010 fashion trends are coming back. This is the first time where I feel like specifically the peplum style top, not how it was in 2010s, but more of like an inspired peplum modern top being actually trendy. Like it actually is something that people are wearing. It's not just like articles saying that like this is now trendy and like nobody is wearing it. Again, not necessarily how at least I used to wear the peplum style, more of a loose peplum fit. And I don't even know if you could call it a peplum, but these types of tops, these kind of like looser bottom tops, I've just been leaning more to tops that are looser at the bottom. I just feel like they're very comfortable when I'm on my period and I don't want to have to deal with tucking a top in. It has been just like a lifesaver. Definitely I'm going to have this on my radar to hopefully try to find more tops like this. Another top style that I am super, super into and am very excited to style for fall time. It is these like ruffle singed tops. And we've been seeing this type of style. I think like Matilda Jurf wore a dress maybe at the beginning of the year that kind of had that silhouette. The stitching on these tops, it's usually a contrasting color. And there's this one on Depop that I'm so conflicted. It's this pink and black one and I love so much. A lot of times they have bows on them as well. And I just think they are one of the cutest style silhouette top. And this is, I think honestly, probably number one on my thrift wish list. I don't know if I've said it before, but I'm usually really not a sunglass person. I feel like a lot of people in their outfit styling videos will be like, oh, I'm gonna add glasses. It's like, you know, accessorizing and that kind of thing. And I've just really not been into glasses, mainly because I wear normal glasses. And so for me to then wear sunglasses, I would have to wear my contacts or I have to get prescription sunglasses. But then if my prescription changes, I now have to get not only normal new glasses, but then also new sunglasses. And yeah, it's just, I just can't be bothered. Recently, I have been loving these like big square sunglasses. And I also, after watching other people, you know, outfits, styling, even just Instagram outfit photos. I have been feeling like I need to get into sunglasses. It's just an accessory that I think really makes a difference sometimes with an outfit. It's just like that cherry on top. And also it's sunny where I live. So I probably should be wearing sunglasses. My eye doctor did say I need to wear sunglasses. And I think these like big square sunglasses are gonna be the perfect way to start that. I have smaller sunglasses, but I never wear them. I also really don't know what type of sunglasses work for my face. I will let you know how that journey um, of me trying to get into sunglasses goes. We have another style of shoe that I am absolutely loving and that are Mary Janes, which have been trending for quite a while now. And 
they are just the perfect fall shoe in my opinion they just they just work so well with fall time and fall silhouettes but also all year round i think that's what's been kind of different with them trending is it was during spring and summer whereas they usually are a little bit bigger during fall time and i mean they've like really been trending like i have seen so many different style of mary janes and it's been really cool to also see different silhouettes and ways that the buckles are for Mary Jane shoes. I honestly want every color in a Mary Jane shoe. I don't think that will be happening, but I have some like red shoes that are kind of a Mary Jane style that I had thrifted on Depop and I absolutely love them. There's just something about there being like little holes like right here. That's just, it's so nice and I don't know why, but I really, I really love shoes like that. I saw some green Mary Janes and like, that would be so cute. <laughs> something that I've been seeing a lot recently, and I think it has been something that people have done, but it just hasn't been on my radar, and that is screen printing on slips. So vintage, secondhand, slip dresses, slip skirts, with just different designs. My friend Danielle, who is Twinelle on YouTube, had done that with some secondhand slips, and I'm just, I'm, absolutely obsessed with the style. Alrighty, thank you all so much for watching and letting me just talk about fall fashion because I'm just, I'm really, really excited. Let me know in the comments down below what trend or honestly just style you were excited to wear this fall. If you would like to see my face again, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit the little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandshine83. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye!